Police say that Kim Brady Carricker fired at people at random on a street in King Sessing, killing five and injuring two children. NBC 10's Brenda Wyke has reaction from their heartbroken families. We've spoken with multiple grieving families about this tragic loss. Their overwhelming sentiment, of course, their loved ones did not deserve to die. So now police are working to figure out why the shooter targeted them. Part of that investigation includes this video. It shows someone with a long gun opening fire in the street. It happened near 56th and Chester in the King Sessing neighborhood Monday night. Police say the shooter was wearing a bulletproof vest filled with multiple magazines and armed with an assault weapon. Five of those shot died, including a teenage boy. Dewan Brown's mother tells us he was helping his friend who had been shot when he was killed. There was no way you could meet Dewan, have a conversation with him, and not fall in love with him. He lost his life trying to, you know, doing a selfless act, and that's how he was when he was here. A two-year-old was also shot multiple times but is stable at this hour. Now, police and prosecutors are working to get justice. DA Larry Krasner says his team is working to make sure this shooter will not see the outside of a jail cell. Reporting from police headquarters, Brenna Wyke, NBC10 News.